There are seven myths to networking I would like to review with you today. Over the years, you may have heard or developed opinions about networking. Whether it's a waste of time, it doesn't work for me, the food usually stinks, I don't meet anybody, so I'm not going to go. In some venues, maybe that's true. But what about you? What myths or beliefs do you have in your mind that dissuade you from getting the most out of networking? Maybe the voice inside your head tells you one of these seven myths. I hope not. The reality is this. To build relationships at Beacon and beyond, you need cutting edge skills, whatever your career and your business goals are. In this competitive environment, professionals need skills to help them connect, converse, and collaborate face to face, not just electronically. That's the way to find new clients, attract referrals, and get more visibility in the marketplace. So here are the seven myths that I'm hoping you don't believe in. If you are a CEO, listen to myth number one, the belief that our people already know how to network. Really? I wouldn't be so sure when a thousand plus people from all works of life took our networking competency assessment, their employers were shocked. Only 41% said, I tell stories that teach about my team's or my organization's capability. Only 39% said, I know the next step to take to make any relationship more useful. And a paltry 32% said, I know exactly whom I need to have in my network. If the script inside your head says, nobody can learn how to network, you either have it or you don't. That's myth number two. It's not so. Networkers are made, not born. Contact Count's client research shows that only about 20% of people are natural networkers. We've identified eight competencies that outline the skills for the other 80% to learn. And even the natural networkers can learn to be more strategic and intentional. Anyone can learn to put the tools of networking to work in the service of business goals. Some CEOs believe in myth number three. It sounds like, why everyone in our company is connected. Look at all the money we spend on collaboration software and CRM. That's like saying, I have a phone, so I got a lot of friends. Having the ability to connect electronically is not the same as knowing how to build trust-based relationships that spark innovation, get things done, and bring in new clients. Even in this electronic age, training programs need to focus on the value of face-to-face -face contacts whenever possible. And remember, networking has value inside the company through collaboration as well as outside the company by making those valuable connections.